Hi, welcome back. I'm so excited to present this video to you in regards to using dowsing rods for psychic readings. Okay, so in this video, the goal is to, number one, help you uh, pick the right dowsing rods if you don't have any yet and you need to buy some. Two, how do they work? Three, how to use them correctly. Four, how to use them for uh, your own self for a psychic reading, a chakra assessment, and or to give a reading chakra assessment to other people in your family, right? Or to your own clients. Um, if you are in the business of giving psychic readings, this is another uh, way in which you can use um, your abilities to give a reading. So what are the best ones to buy? Well, they should be copper, absolutely copper. Um, they're copper based um, and then they have this copper cylinder that easily, you know, twirls around um, the ends of them so that they can swing freely. Now, how do they work? Well, they work in regards to picking up your own electric magnetic energy. Okay, we're all energy. Everything is energy around us. Okay, even the, the electricity, you know, running around here, <laughs> running around here. You know what I mean? And um, so they're very good conductors of energy. And when you connect with them and with the higher realms of the spirit, uh, uh, world, then yes, they're going to work wonderfully for you. Um, and at first, it's going to be a little awkward, okay? When you first get them, they're going to swing all over the place. You're not sure, you know, what, what's going on here. So the first thing you need to do is learn how to hold them, kind of making sure that um, they're at a 90 degree angle from where you're holding it. So if I'm showing you it this way, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to hold it as best as I can um, with the cylinder uh, up and down so that the corner here is at a 90 degree angle and it can just freely flow back and forth. Just see how it's just kind of freely uh, flowing, okay? So that's what you want to do and then uh, so you can practice doing this for a while. And then there's actually some fun little exercises that you can do. There is another video that I produced um, that's on my YouTube channel in regards to uh, a fun game of finding the puff ball underneath the solo cups. <laughs> Shuffling them around and finding them. That's fun. That's lots of fun. So uh, as you get used to holding them correctly. Now I recommend that um, you kind of get your elbows up against your, your body so that your, your arms are steady as best as possible. Now again, we vibrate all the time. We're constantly moving. You don't know it, you don't notice it, but we are, we really are moving. Um, and so that's okay, but it does help to, to get your elbows kind of secured up against your side so that that you're not you know going like this or your arms getting tired um, it's just a gentle uh, up against your body there to support your your forearms here okay so the first thing that you want to learn is um, when they are facing forward this is neutral this is what i call neutral this is um you get them uh, as you get connected to them and you get connected to your spirit guides, um, this is kind of like, okay, we're ready to go. We're in the neutral position and we are ready to go to work together. Um, now, according to the um, American Dowsing Association, the correct way to uh, have a yes is when you're having both of the rods cross together. So if we could show everybody a yes, crossing the rods. A little bit more, there we go. See, see the, kind of it's like X marks the spot. That's a yes. And this is what they would use when um, 
using it for uh, dowsing for water or minerals, that sort of thing. And there are companies today, people today that use these uh, for finding water underneath the ground or specific type of, of minerals. So good, thank you. We're right back to neutral. They went right back to neutral, very good. So let's show them what no means. Yeah, no means wide open. That means you have missed the mark. Um, and that's just a no, okay? Um, now, if you want to use it the opposite way, that's okay too. But if you kind of want to follow the, the, the National Dowsing Rod Association, um, then these are the specific positions of the, of the, the rods here for the yes and no. Now, um, for maybe what I have learned with my spirit guides is maybe is when both of the rods go to one side or the other. Yeah, just like that. That means eh, maybe. The energies aren't quite clear. It's a maybe. And then if they stay straight forward in a neutral position, can you go into a neutral? Yeah, there you go, neutral. There you go, neutral. Okay, when they, when they stay in the neutral position, after you have asked a yes or no question and it just doesn't seem like they're gonna budge, then that means there isn't really an answer at this point in time. And or the question just may not be a good question. You have to have good specific questions to ask, um, really to keep the spirit realm engaged. They like good questions, yes and no questions, um, especially if you really wanna know the answer, yes or no. If you're just doing this to have fun, which is okay, um, but you may not get clear answers, okay? So you really want to be tuned in. You really want to be serious about working with the spirit realm. And also this type of um, connection and working with the spirit realm is what they call a physical, kind of like a physical mediumship. Um, physical mediumship is any tool that is used um, so that you can see the spirits moving them uh, in a physical way with your physical eyes. Um, that's called physical mediumship. You're getting the communication in a physical way. Now, psychically and through mediumship, um, and as you learn to use these, um, you will actually come to a point where you start to hear uh, um, you know, in your, your psychic ear, you'll hear the yes or the no, be, even before the rods will respond. So this is when you know, you know, you can move away from the rods and you can really start to go into psychic readings, especially when you start to get feelings and impressions and, and, and visions, your clairvoyant visions um, coming through. Um, so that's the basic movement of the rods for yes, no, maybe, and um, there isn't an answer at this point in time. So how do you give yourself a chakra assessment? Now this is really interesting. So I'm going to pretend um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking in the mirror. I'm actually looking in the camera right here. Um, so I know it looks like I'm looking at you, but I'm pretending that I've got the mirror here in front of me, okay? So I'm going to kind of give myself an assessment on my crown chakra, which is on the top of your head. So I'm going to focus on my crown chakra and ask, how open is my crown chakra? And as they move, kind of have a good in indication of how open, which means how free flowing the universal energy is coming through your crown chakra. Now you can do this in front of the mirror, um, which is really fascinating. Okay, let's go back to neutral. 
There you go. Now let's do uh, my third eye assessment. I'm going to assess my third eye. How open is my third eye? Nice, open, very open. <laughs> That's great, I love it. Okay, let's go back to neutral. And let's do the throat chakra. The throat chakra for communication and easily expressing oneself. Nice, nice, open. Now don't get discouraged if, um, let's say they, they open up just a little bit. All that means is perhaps during the day something happened or you're a little uptight about something and so you're not free flowing uh, with that universal energy. Now the chakra system ebbs and flows like uh, the waves in an ocean. Um, there's a false belief that you're, you're either your chakras are all closed up and it's not good for you and blah blah blah. Um, Yes, in, in regards to, let's say it's a chronic situation in which you're very negative all the time or you're very depressed all the time or you've got these thought processes that uh, continually doubt yourself, um, you don't have self-confidence, you feel unworthy about something, then yes, that's a chronic situation and um, that is detrimental to your own uh, mind, body, and spirit. So the best ways to remedy that is to live your life as best as you can to, uh, to complement um, your mind, body, and spirit for the best that it can be through eating correctly, sleeping correctly, um, living a lifestyle that's for your best and highest good, and having relationships for your best and highest good. All of that is connected all of that helps with the universal flow and keeping you energetically healthy with your chakra system. Okay. Um, so now, how do you give yourself a psychic reading? You're going to be, again, connecting with the rods, connecting with your spirit guides, and you are going to be asking questions for your best and highest good. Okay, such as perhaps maybe making a decision with buying a big purchase. Okay, um, you really don't need guidance in buying shampoo, toilet paper, you know, things like that. You really don't need guidance in buying those items, but perhaps a house, perhaps a car, perhaps a boat, you know, um, or a jet ski. You know, it's a big investment. It's it's a big financial um, responsibility that you have, okay? So you may want to ask the spirit realm and, and your higher self as you are connected with the, the dowsing rods here to ask a yes or no question. So you could perhaps get, get a picture. Let's say it's a boat. Get a picture of... Um, a boat and just put it right there in front of you focus on the boat um, you know gosh I'd like to have that boat you know I can see myself you know running through the the water you know pulling somebody behind me jet you know water skiing or whatever it is okay then take your take your rods over that picture of the boat and ask the question um, is it best for me to buy this boat at this time in my life yes or no and then it'll tell you give it some time yes or no now if you're not quite ready uh, to be asking all these questions there are um, um, there are exercises there's fun things that you can do such as um, finding something have somebody hide something a little statue perhaps your car keys uh, in the living room, in the kitchen, um, and the divining rods will actually um, kind of start pointing you in the direction of where you want to go. So like if you can see over there, there's my uh, rose quartz crystal 
right there, okay? So I'm going to ask um, for them to point where that rose crystal is at, okay? Say, where's the rose crystal? <laughs> where's the rose crystal? Yeah, way over there. <laughs> I got it, okay. All right, so now I'm going to ask, see my little son up there? I love my son. So let's ask, where's that sun, okay? All right, let's 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 get settled down here. Okay, where's the sun? Can you point to the sun in my room? So then technically I would follow them and I'd say, okay. So it's kind of like a, a couple step process. Say, okay, oh, it must be over this way. All right, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like this then, okay? Now, now where do I go? Where's the sun? Oh, oh, ah, there's the sun. <laughs> All right, so do you get it? Do you see how they can work for you? It really is lots of fun and it's fascinating. At first, it kind of gives you a creepy feeling like, wow, these things really work. But they do work. They really do work. And it's all about energy, the ebb and flow of energy through you and to you that's coming to you every second of the day. Okay, I'm not going to get into quantum physics, um, but that's a fascinating uh, subject for you to, to read up on um, if you want to really kind of understand how energy works. Okay. So that's a fun little exercise as you get to used to um, working with your dowsing rods, plus a chakra assessment. And then you can ask some other questions. Um, this one I kind of like. A lot of people use their pendulums um, for like vitamins. You know, which vitamin is the best one uh, for me to have today? Or, um, you know, what what do I need? What is my body lacking? So let's say you have a bottle of vitamin C, B12, um, D, vitamin D over here. And you just kind of go over each one and say, you know, um, do I need vitamin C today? You know, do I need this? Do I need that? Do I need my multivitamin? You know? You may get a no on the multivitamin vitamin because perhaps, because a lot of these multivitamins have um, higher amounts of specific vitamins that perhaps your body at that point in time doesn't need all that extra vitamins, okay? So you may need just the individual vitamins, okay? You can do this with food as well. Um, really, the best way to get your vitamins is with whole foods, such as um, an apple for vitamin C and potassium with a banana. So you may have a banana and an apple, but you don't really want to eat both. You want to know which is the best one for me to eat for breakfast. And so again, you would hold this over a banana and ask, should I eat this banana this morning? Would it be good for my body? Yes or no? And it would tell you. And then you'd go over and you'd ask the apple, over the apple, is the, the apple the best thing that I should eat this morning, yes or no? Okay. What other questions? Um, is it the best time to ask my boss for a raise? Uh, let's say you've had a fight with somebody and they're really mad. For some reason, you guys just had it out and you feel bad about it. But it may not be the right time to reach out to that person because they're still a little upset. They need to be cooled down. Now, I know sometimes a lot of us, you know, oh my gosh, it just bothers us so much. We have to talk to that other person. We have to get this settled for ourselves. We have to talk to them, right? Well, it may not be the best time to be talking to them. So you might wanna ask, seek some guidance and say, you know, um, say out loud, is it the best time to reach out to my mother, father, whoever it was that you had that horrible uh, argument with? And and the, the, the dowsing rods will tell you, yes, it's a good time, or no, it's not a good time. And so you may want to wait an hour or two, okay? And then ask again, 
ask again, okay? Um, let's see what else. Um, oh, spoiled food. Let's say you have food in the refrigerator and um, it's been there for a while, but you don't know how long. That's kind of like the way I am. I'll have food in the refrigerator, I'll make food, I'll forget to, to label it, and then here it is several days later, or it could even be a week later, and I'm thinking, you know what, I've seen that container in the refrigerator for, um, has it only been a few days, or has it really been a week, or two weeks, you know? Um, you know, especially if you take the lid off and, you're, and your nose, you know, uh, the energy, from the from the the food in the container um, is not representing um, that energetic uh, knowing, right? We know we can smell energetically what when something is really rotten, right? But if it doesn't give you any clues whatsoever whether or not it's um, um, it's not uh, gone spoiled yet. You 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 know you can't assess it with your nose or your eyes. Then you may want to assess it with the dowsing rod. Okay, yes or no? Because sometimes food may taste okay, but it may upset your tummy, right? Especially if you have a sensitive stomach. So you kind of want to know: Is this going bad? Yes or no? Or should I eat this? Yes or no? Make sure the question is very specific. Should I eat this? Yes or no? Is this spoiled? Yes or no? Um, if you have too generalized of a question, then the answer isn't going to be quite significant enough for you, okay? Um, and then the other thing that you can also do for yourself is you can give yourself a psychic reading uh, with your spirit guides. You can actually connect with your spirit guides and or um, connect with an angel, um, connect with an alien as well. Um, you know, anything and everything is out there. Um, we are all connected. Um, intergalactic beings who are very loving um, may wish to let you know that they're working with you. Um, so you can ask. I always like to ask. Um, after I've meditated, you can say a prayer. Um, you know, I would say if, if you're new to this and you're afraid in any way, shape, or form, say a powerful prayer of protection, okay? Um, you know, uh, dear Mother, Father, Spirit, uh, please uh, protect me as I connect with the spirit realm for the best and, and highest good for me, okay? Um, but if, you, if you've worked with the spirit realm and you know that when you raise your vibrations and you are strong, shining brightly like a white light, uh, reaching out into the spirit realm, that is your protection, You've got it already, right? Um, so before you begin, if you want to make sure you're connecting with your spirit guides, go ahead and say that prayer or do that meditation. Um, always do this uh, for the best and highest good for you and for others, okay? This isn't meant to scare anybody or uh, control anybody in any way, shape, or form, right? Uh, you need to respect that connection uh, with the spirit realm like you would if you were uh, being reverent in, in a, a church situation because you are connecting to the spirit realm when you are in a, um, a church or synagogue. Um, you know, just be respectful to that divine spirit energy that's working with you. So I like to ask, let's go ahead and ask. Are there spirit guides here working with me today on this video? Yes or no?
Yes. Yes, I've got spirit guides working with me. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Let me ask another question because I'm feeling something now. Um, are there multiple spirit guides here with me? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah, there are. I can feel them. I can feel them. Let me ask as well because um, I'm also feeling some loved ones nearby. Are there loved ones here with me as I'm doing this video? Hmm. Maybe that's not a good question. Let me ask another question. Is my uncle here with me? Yes or no? Yes, he is. Awesome, because I can feel him. I can feel my uncle near me. He's with me. Thank you. That's so neat. Okay. Uh, what's some other questions? Let's see. Um, can't, okay, let's ask this one question. Are there intergalactic light beings that work with humanity? Yes, there are. Yeah, that's right. They do. They're, they're, they're working with us. They're loving us, helping us out. Very, very much so. Nice. So that's the basics of how to do a psychic reading with your dowsing rods. So we talked about the best ones to pick, copper based, um, how they work, the positioning for yes and no, and maybe um, some interesting games to get you used to working with your dowsing rods and how to assess yourselves uh, in your chakra system and or somebody else's chakra system. Um, you know, this will help you uh, learn all about the chakra system as well. Um, and then again, give yourself some uh, guidance for those questions, those situations that you would like to have that inner knowing, okay? This isn't just about, are my eyes blue? You know, do I need to go buy aspirin today? Those are good questions, okay? Those you can answer for yourself. Ask the questions that are meaningful for you to know about and that you seek some guidance. And believe me, these dowsing rods are gonna work with you. You're gonna feel that connection. And as you open yourself up to receiving more information, the more you are stretching your own psychic abilities to go beyond than what the dowsing rods can give you, okay? It's a tool, it's just a tool, a psychic tool, like your angel cards, um, the pendulum, um, even the Ouija board or the spirit board, if you use that with a friend, um, those are just tools uh, learning to uh, connect with the spirit realm. And all of those are kind of a, a basic form, um, um, a little bit of the, the physical mediumship. Um, if you've heard of table tipping, that's another one as well, uh, where people are sitting around the table and the table starts to tip yes and no, like a pendulum. Okay, um, that's... Uh, part of physical mediumship as well.
So that's what we have for today. If you have questions, let me know. I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear your, your journey and your experiences using your dowsing rods, okay? Thank you so much for being here with me. Many blessings to you and namaste.